Good evening, people. It's Awakened Sheeple. And it's my personal journal, journey journal. Today I am doing Luke 8, 27. We're going to go over to chapter, say, 44 through 46. And basically some woman walked up behind Jesus and grabbed a hold of the corner of his robe or a hem of his robe. And when she did, she was instantly healed. And instantly Jesus turns around and he says, who hath touched me? For I perceive my virtue is gone. So this is what happened to me last night. Uh, one of the neighbor ladies came over unexpectedly. You know, the Lord had told me to go take a bath. And I did that. And I forgot how long I was in there. You know, he said quickly. And I just got to praying again. You know, and I forgot everything. And I have no idea how long I sat in that tub, but next thing I know, somebody's pounding my door. I thought it was my wife, and you know, it's the only person I really expect, so. I wrapped a towel around me and opened the door up, and it's a neighbor lady, and she kind of just comes on in, and I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, uh, here, stand in the kitchen or whatever, and let me go get dressed or something, and either way, you know, I went and got some clothes on, came back, and she put her hand on me at some point or something, I don't know, but one minute I was fine. The next minute it was like something had taken control of something and I was praying to Jesus and she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, you know, hey, I gotta get, get, get my room cleaned up and I gotta do some other stuff and I'm really busy right now. And she left and she's, you know, like, oh, I feel real tired. I feel real tired. And I had no idea what in the hell had happened to me. But she got all tired and she could hardly walk. So I had to walk her back to her apartment pretty much. And uh, I got back and I'm like, what the heck happened to me? Because it was like a spirit of Lilith. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you look it up and you'll figure it out. I'm not saying anymore, but it was, oh my God. Um, if you're of the bride of Christ and somebody lays a hand on you and they're not clean and you're not like, instantly prepared for something like that it can literally overtake you in a it took until this morning before i i mean it kept coming back and i'm like dear god what happened what happened what happened and i couldn't figure it out you know because i was you know good i was real good until she put her hand on my on my arm and it was like i don't know what happened one minute I was like looking in the Bible and the next minute I was up and I'm like, uh, I got to get busy and you got to get going. So, and then she's like, I'm real tired. I started wobbling around. And so I took her back to her apartment, but, uh, it, that, that's what happened. It somehow, when she touched me, it took my virtue and it gave me the spirit of Lilith. And it took most of the day of prayer to figure this out. And he's like, there's a passage in there and it'll, it'll tell you what happened. And I'm like, where and he goes it's about me oh my god you know lord there's a lot in the new testament that's about you could you narrow the field down he goes it's close to john so you know i read all of john and i'm like it's not in john he goes okay well at least you read john again and i'm like well thank you lord <laughs> thank you for letting me read john again he's a really nice guy by the way and you should meet him uh, he's not very happy right now with what the world's doing, so, uh, but they're training people. They're training people. Believe it, they're training people. Interesting thing, I figured out the other morning when I woke up, I was having a dream about some song, and when I woke up, I, all I could remember was it sounded like the Lion King. And uh, the name of it, when I woke up, I finally figured it's Pertoli Beast Day or Best, it's some Italian or something anyway, but uh, listen to it and see what you think. I just caught part of it and it, it sounds like something that's going on to this in this day right now. And I don't know if it applies to anybody or it just applies to me, but it, 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 well, when I woke up, it was all that was on my mind was some song that sent, reminded me of the Lion King, and that's the song that did. And you should listen to it. If you listen to the other one, the Imagine Dragons, listen to that one and 
see what you can discern. There's a lot of stuff that the Lord will show you through different mediums if you trust him. So give it a shot, discern everything with a close eye and whatever you do, if the Lord has put you away from the world, you be careful who touches you. And you be ready with uh, some casting out or something and get to a spot where you can do it because I'm telling you what, it was not good for a while. I mean, it was, it made my knees shake. I was started to sweat instantly and my heart started racing out of control. And I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then the things that started popping into my mind was not what I wanted. And I'm, I'm trying, and as fast as I was trying to lock my mind down away from those things, they would just scream right back in. I mean, it was, it was, it blew my mind away. Put it that way, it blew my mind. It, you be careful, and you're going to pray it away. When when this happened, you're trying to figure out. Don't wait a week to figure out what's gone wrong with your life. You notice something instantly, you take it to him and get it dealt with instantly. And it took a good four or five hours this morning before I was starting to feel halfway normal because, you know, I would get back to work doing my stuff, and it would just <laughs> right back, and I'm like, what in the world? And then I'd have to talk to him again and again and again. And going through all the sanctification process, you know, getting sanctified again, it's sometimes it takes a bit, you know. He makes you talk to him before he'll do it. Uh, stay good with the Lord. Don't forget to repent in the normal things that you usually do. All praise and glory be to God. And I keep seeing something move across the screen. I don't know what that is, but I had no idea demons could just crawl right into you like that. And it, you, I thought I was good, you know? I mean, I thought I was doing great. And, uh, I mean, you know, I thought I had the armor of God and everything on. The only problem was is I wasn't employing it. I was a little distracted. And uh, <laughs> uh, that distraction exploded. It exploded, and you just got to be super careful. I mean, I don't care who you are. This woman walked in, and the first thing she started talking about was what sexual things she likes to do. and kind of freaked me out. I was like, i got to get some clothes on. Get away from me and just stay right there. <laughs> but, yeah, I invited her in, and then the next thing I know, I was bomb-blasted with that. And, I mean, uh-uh, not good, not good, so... Praise Jesus in his most holy name. He'll cleanse you if, if something happens. Uh, I mean, it, nothing really happened. But it was the fight of my life to put that away. And, I mean, dear God. So, if something happens, I mean, we're going to be tested. And I'm telling you what, he's going to move through people around you and... I don't know what the hell happened, you know. I blessed her at one point. I was telling God, please cleanse her or whatever. And I was trying to think and do other things. And the next thing I know, it wasn't good. So I'm going to put this up. Take it for what it is. Um, <laughs> personal experience. So, you know, lords that get personal. And I didn't say anything inappropriate. So, and nothing inappropriate happened. But it was all up in here. It was a mental battle. So, praise God.